How's it going, everybody? It's Strap That Up here, back with another episode of our Madnoit Raiders franchise. This week, we are playing Dallas on the road, playing our second straight NFC East opponent after taking out the Eagles last time. Dallas is 3-3 three and three so far. This is the America's Game of the Week, almost assuredly. I don't think we'd be on CBS. It's probably like Patriots Field or something. Anyways, that's not important right now. Uh, take a quick look at the matchup. We are even in terms of rating. Their offense is a little higher rated than ours, but of course we're the number one scoring offense and passing offense to boot. Take a quick gander at their team. Yeah, Tony Romo at the helm, their quarterback, having a heck of a year. How I know that is because this is the third time I've tried to record this video because I forgot to turn on the audio last time. Anyways, Patrick Ramsey, their backup. Julius Jones and Marion Barber form a, a pretty good 1-2 at the running back. For some reason, they drafted a rookie in the second round, Mo Olsen. Why you would do that when you have two 20-year-old running backs who are both really good? I don't know. But whatever. And they also got a guy in the fourth round. Tervarius Fulcher. Interesting name. Lusaka Polite, their fullback. Got Patrick Creighton and Vaughn Reese, first round rookie from last year. He's a shifty guy. Jabbar Gafty in their slot, pretty good top three. Their fourth receiver leaves a little bit to be desired, but it's okay because they got Jason Witten, who is a good receiver in his own right. Anthony Pisano is their blocking tight end. Flozell Adams, left tackle. Kyle Kozier at guard. Either Rex Hadnot or Justin Hartwig is their center. Marco Rivera at right guard, 37 years old, getting up there in age. Mark Colombo at the right tackle. They got a pretty good offensive line. Javon Kears looks like he switched teams in the division. He's on the Eagles. He's got the Eagles uniform in the background. Playing for Dallas now. Not really a traditional... Eh, he's big enough, but he, he's more of a 4-3 guy, even though the Cowboys play a 3-4. Kalimba Edwards, their right end. And Omar Sparks, their nose tackle. First rounder last year as well. Their backup is 6-5. 340, holy cow. Dude's huge. <laughs> Anthony Spencer, their left outside, their edge guy on the left side. Don't think he was really that good in real life. I don't remember him too much. Brady James and Akin Ayodele. Ayodele? Ayodele? I don't know how you pronounce this guy's last name. But there are two inside linebackers. Kind of they're running the 34. Of course, Demarcus Ware. Is he in the Hall of Fame? I don't think he's quite in the Hall of Fame. Should be a Hall of Famer at some point in his career, right? Or if he's not already. Uh, good top two corners in Anthony Henry and Terrence Newman. We'll see who's covering who. Their slot receiver is, or cornerback, not the best. So hopefully we can take advantage of that. Ken Hamlin at the free, and Roy Williams at strong. And then Grammatica, Martin Grammatica, and Matt McBride, of course. Martin Grammatica, very, very famous for look at that 10 strength, holy cow. And uh, doing that celebration where he jumped up and tore his ACL. And Matt McBride, their punter. So. They're a pretty good team. I think they should be a playoff team, if I had to guess. Pretty weak division, looking at the records. But I guess we'll see. So let's hop into it. We come to you from the Metroplex, just outside Dallas. It's Texas Stadium in Irving, Texas. Thanks for joining us. Well, we've had quite a year so far with some incredible individual performances, and we're just about ready to get this one started as the Raiders get set to take on the Cowboys. Now let's go to midfield for the game's coin toss. Let's go, Tails. That's all right. Well, teams have taken the field, and let's see what Some happens. Good lighting now. here in Dallas, of course. Off. Jerry World. I think this is Jerry World, right? It opened in 2008, so maybe. I think that's right. So this would have been new, and uh, the year that this came out. I, I could have my timing wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's that's what happened. Well, right? they're they're over at the -yard line. But nice lighting. I will say the last time I booted this up before I realized that my sound turned out. It was raining inside the dome for some really weird reason. <laughs> now it's not. It's a nice sunny day. Oh, come on. Awesome. I'm going to pick that out. We threw a lame duck right to you. Pick that one off, man. He had double coverage on that guy. Gonna have to really focus in on Jason Witten in this game, I think. 
He's going to be the guy. Well, we've been doing pretty good, pretty well against tight ends this season. Pass the ball. Oh, they're running it with their fullback. That's fine. Give it to the fullback. You got two really good running backs. Just give it to the fullback. I support it. I support it entirely. And a lot of run blockers in there. Line that. Too many pass blockers, though. They'll bring the blitz with the Good pressure by short, but fourth down. All right. Well, again, fourth three. I would have thought like fourth and one, fourth and inches. But I guess we never touched him. He did go out of bounds on his own volition, so we're able to force the three and out. First series of the game. It's always very nice. Good blocking by the punt unit. We're going to have a good return here. From the 30. The 40. Could have maybe gone a little further, but still. Like 20 moves. or so good yards, 15 yards. Yeah, and let's, we are in good rhythm last game on offense. Let's keep it up. Takes on one of the top defenses in the league. Yeah, this is going to be a good one, Al. If this defensive line can get some oh. penetration, Flock across. especially from the weak side, I think you're going to have a chance to get some sacks and hurry the passer. You can't let the quarterback set up back there or this guy will just tear you apart. In a weak box that time, they had six guys there in nickel package for some reason. It's a blitz. Gets rid of it. Come on, Higgins can hold that one in. Was his intended target. Before you stop here, see if you can make him jump. That'll give you a first down. Now that there's safety coming up, down. We'll put this one in the air, trying to convert. Just gonna take off with Russell, get the first down. Anthony Randall well got knocked down by his, his receiver. Make sure the defense knows that they have to cover every receiver. Been doing that a lot this year, and he's doing it well. Again, they have a weak box, so we are in. The Sir, that's pass interference every single time it happens. I guess I should recognize it, but it's going to happen every time. we got to wait an extra half second. But I want to throw it to him right on the cut. I like Antoine here. Looks like they got double Higgins on the outside. Safety ran with him. It's not the best throw. Not, not starting off very well in the passing game so far. we got to hit something here. Maybe Higgins over the middle. On the cut. He's got it. Not quite a first down. Or about. No, uh, we're, we're not. We're an aggressive coach. I think we got enough. We got enough. We can, we can call play here and see what the defense gives us. And their base set. We're in five wide. I love this set. I think Porter or is going to sit open right over the middle. Maybe not. Higgins in the flat. He's got it. First down. <laughs> should have should have got hurry up and I said, Damn, base set. We have five wide. Could have really exploited something. But, uh, that's all right. We pick up the first down either way. Throw it away. Throw it away. Throw it away. Yikes. 22 yard sack. That is not good. That is not good at all. That is inexcusable. Yes, it is. Well, I'll take the L on it. Cut up field. Randall L. I assume we pick up a huge chunk. Give ourselves a third and manageable. Defense could not stay with him long enough. It's always going to be tricky whenever you have guys covering for four or five seconds. Good protection there by the O line. Antwine, he's got the first. So, Anthony Antwine. Both the crossers were open. They ran into each other, so I wasn't sure who it starts. Luckily, they're, I'm not sure if there's a linebacker to safety, but he was way, way backed off. Huge hole for Vaughn Cross. Bust a tackle. Down inside the five. A running rough shot, man. Dude is a beast. Gotta feed him the rock. Especially here when they're in a dime package, even though we've got two tight ends out. Uh, I think we're going to score a touchdown in the next two plays. What did I say? Touchdown Raiders, Vaughn Cross. Player of the drive right there. We're going up 6 0. Yeah, give that ball to Antoine Randall. Let him spike it. It was a nice drive. You know, had, had a big negative play on that huge sack. And 
Not starting off great in the passing game, but that's okay. We did enough to get us some first downs. Whoops, I tried to go up, but I didn't. That's okay. point after is good. Perfect way to start this one off as they move the ball down the field for the touchdown. Like I said, we got enough in the passing game. We'll allow us to punch it in with our superstar rookie at running back, Vaughn Cross. This one is handled by number 84. And they got good block in there. Luckily, Kirk is able to come from behind and attack them around 35. I do not think Janikowski is going to be able to catch him. Let's go again, defense. I'd love two stops to start off the game. That would be awesome. Oh, my goodness. Huge pressure by Thomas Howard. Oh, we couldn't pick up the fumble off the strip sack. Absolutely blindsided him, walloped him. Fortunately, one of our linemen was able to jump on the ball. It was a huge early way to just suck the momentum, suck the energy right out of the building. Still, negative play, and they're forced into a third and ten here. Back to back three and outs would be awesome. Get one more stop here, guys. Come on. One more stop here. Force this punt. Good pressure by Johnson, and we get home. Second sack of the drive. One from either of our edge players. Pass rush is looking good here today. Serve. Force punts on back to back drives. That's what you like to see. is back to receive this kick. And Not going to be able to return to this, return one. this one. That's all right. He returned one and two punts. That's pretty good. Threw it off my back foot, unfortunately. Oh, Antoine almost parted it anyways. Fortunately, you got to step into that throw. You can't, you can't be throwing a, a deep out or a deep up. You know, falling away. The Raiders line up in the bunch formation. Oh, try to hit him with a spin move. Couldn't quite get it. Let's go. Third medium here. Let's pick it up, guys. I'm looking for Zach Miller over the middle, I think. Maybe not. Randall L on the option route. He's got it. First down. And Twan. Randall L. Heck of an option route. Heck of an option route. And a linebacker on Johnny Lee Higgins. Got a field. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hindsight should have just tucked it and ran or thrown it away. I decided to go risky. Luckily, I was not burned for it, but we can't be doing, we can't be doing that. Can't be doing that. That's a, that's a dumb idea. No mas, no mas. And there, pressure gets home. Not sure who 93 is. It might be DeMarcus Ware. I can't tell. No, I think DeMarcus Ware is on the other side. I don't know. I don't remember what number he was in my life. Line up in the quarter defense. Drops back. Pressure. I can't be rolling out on that one. Not on a three-man rush. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Just look for something short. Pick up some yardage and, you know, allow us to flip the field. That's a, that's a couple of mistakes in the passing game. Got to find a, a better rhythm here on the next drive. Sammy Walls. Blast him at the 30. Coverage unit once again. Coming up big time. As they have been doing all three years. It's first and ten. To Shane Lunkers, just such a beast. More good pressure. Ty Johnson already is second sack in the first quarter. We're eating them alive on, on the offensive line. It's going to take us to the end of the first. Good to be up 7-0 on the road. Love to see that. Love to see that indeed. Keep going with his zone. Yeah, that's been working out really well for us here today. And in the past few weeks. Nothing. I don't get nothing. Hey, let's go. Hot. Hot. 
It's a blitz. Throwing. And he makes the grab. Bart makes the stop. He had a good play call on. Reese didn't have much room. Credit, credit Steve. Yeah, they had the coverage, and they made the sure play instead of playing something fancy, like going for the pick. I don't know about that. Stop near defense. Come on. The defense. Throws it. Nobody covering the flat and polite is going to pick up the first down and a few extra yards. Not sure. Yeah, nobody's covering the flat on that play. So. Pressure couldn't get home. We sent an extra guy on the blitz. It's going to happen sometimes. It's not going to be too upset about it. Go risky, you know. But they decided to give it to him again. I don't know why the bad man I just loves giving the ball to fullbacks in this game. But I'm A-OK -okay with it. And I want to give the ball to your talented running backs. Hey, I'm not, I'm not one to complain. Pressure almost got home again. Not sure who that was. I couldn't tell if that was... Uh, Williams, Morris, and Howard. It looked like 58, but we don't have 58. Must have been Howard. Must have been 53. Just going to stop your defense. Good coverage. Good coverage. Osman, knock it down. He's got it. He forced the incompletion. It's a heck of a, a, heck of a high jump on the, uh, on the knockdown there. Hold it down. Of course, in another punch. Probably be hoping for a touchback. Could be pinned deep. I'll let this one go for sure. Nice, nice coverage by them. We're going to be backed up pretty deep in our own zone. Got to make some smart plays in the passing game if we're going to throw the ball. Russell, we split backs. Dropping back to pass on first down. Closing in. He's going to run this one. He's got it. No, 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 no fumble. Luckily, he's out of bounds. Please, no turnover. Thank you. Should have gone out of bounds a yard earlier. I don't know how he fumbled it, though. Not like he got hit. Weird stuff goes on in this game sometimes, man. Where's the blocking? Marks Ware got in, like, in, like, half a second. I didn't have time to even complete my drop. Spread the ball around and make sure the defense knows that they have to cover every receiver. That was weird, man. That was weird. Let's, let's find some rhythm here. Let's find some rhythm in the passing game. Oh, my goodness. Randall L. What a grab. What a grab. I'm rolling out way too quickly. i got to recognize that. Got to recognize that. Bush out of the backfield. He's got nothing but open space. Couldn't break a tackle, but still gets about 30 yards on third down. Nice big play. Jason Garrett knows what to dial up against his former team. Johnny Lee Higgins was a nice grab in traffic. Third in, a, in a good rhythm here. Let's, let's go with a little bit of no huddle. Keep him out of rhythm. Yeah, one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Okay, I threw that one to Antoine for sure. The Higgins was able to adjust to the ball and pick up another first down. I love my slot receivers, man. You know I love my slot receivers. It's a very odd defensive... They're lining up in a really weird defensive set. <laughs> Breaks attack from the cornerback. Safety was there. We still pick up four. About three and a half, maybe. Antoine in the uh, flat. Gets away from the Marcus Ware. Picks up a first down. Got to break out of the superstar defensive end, rush linebacker, whatever you want to call him. Either way, very impressive move by Antoine to break out of his grasp. Porter in the end zone. We throw a pick because I went to be too aggressive. But it's going to be pass interference, and we get the ball out there one. Yeah, yeah, let's just say I saw the interference. How about Got bailed out by the penalty, but I'll take it, baby. The defender has to do a better job 
Well, at first and basically nothing. Punch this one in, Cross. That's what he's made to do. He's got it. Vaughn Cross, second touchdown of the game. A lot of bodies in the middle. He's able to fall forward just enough. Pick up six points. Celebrates right in the face of the ref. No flag. <laughs> so the pass interference, we get a little bit of a bailout, I guess. Maybe yeah, maybe it wasn't such a bailout. Maybe that's why it was a pick. <laughs> to be honest, I didn't really see it, but if they say it happened, then I'll take the it for sure. Is good. The defense got torched on that touchdown, John. Yeah, and any play that allows the other team to score is never good. But when it comes to express mail like that, it definitely puts a sour taste in your mouth. Phenomenal this analysis. Anytime you let your opponent score, it's not good. To buckle down, avoid mistakes, I mean, obviously. To dig themselves out of this hole. First and ten. Jones in the backfield. Going to the air on first down. They reach the Oh my goodness. D line is just getting home like unbelievably quickly. You keep playing like this. This is this is how this is more so how we played last season where our defense was probably the better of the two units. We have not been quite as good this year, but love to see it. Oh my goodness, what a juke move play. Is that, is that Jones? Yeah, that is Jones. But we had extra guys there anyway, so try to go for the strip, just ran by him. Shouldn't go for the strip. Don't want to get the face back. Should go for like the big hit. Try to force it that way. Oh my goodness! Pressure almost gets to him again and couldn't quite get the pick. Who's that? Sam Williams? No. Kirk Morrison in pass defense. That's right. Sam Williams is 54. Kirk Morrison is 52. But nice play to knock it down. Be pretty good field position after the uh, fair catch. On our own 33. Scan the defense quickly here. Take over Nothing's open downfield. Get First rid of it by ten. passing it to one of your backs. Been running the ball well. Hopefully they're going to pounce on the play action. And find someone open deep. Nope. We just get hit in the backfield. Another sack. I think Randall L is going to be open. There. It's kind of tough to say without throwing it. Tad bit disappointing, however. Throw this one away. Gotta stop rolling out so quick, man. I keep telling myself that and I keep doing it. Bad habits I've formed over the years. Oh, gotta catch that one. I should have waited an extra half second so I could throw it to him on the in cut. I think it was gonna be open. I don't think we would have picked up the first down either way. I suppose it is what it is. We're going to have to punt this ball. Give it right back to him. That was pretty close. But a beautiful punt nonetheless by Shane Reckler. There, back inside their own 20. So whenever you're up two scores, you know, winning the field position battle is super important. And that's what we do. Special teams, so good. Oh my goodness. Running back could not get him. That's his third sack of the game. Ty Johnson is an absolute monster this game. He's been getting home every single time. Speed is just too much. Oh, I almost got to him again. I went for the big hit. Shouldn't have gone for the big hit. He's getting home in like a second, second and a half every single time it seems. It's been unbelievable. We're just running circles around that right tackle. We're going to have to start chipping him with Jason Witten, maybe. Got to him again. Four sacks in the first half. Ty Johnson. He has taken over this game. Unbelievable. And they're not even talking about him. He'd be the defensive player of the week after, after a performance like this. He better be. Absolutely better be. So right back in the same situation as we were last drive. Let's maybe pick up some yards this time, huh? March it down and oh, we gotta just give this one across, I think. Nah. Let's keep the same play on. 
They were in his own defense in perfect position to make the play. Not seeing the board well in the passing game today. It's unfortunate because we were really eating them alive last game. So that's... It's a blitz with the pass. Number eighty-three. Cornerback blitz. I guess I should have thrown that one a little bit earlier, but I wanted him to come back so the safety didn't jump it. I'm sending the cornerback on the blitz nice so for you, I guess, huh? Man, how can they get home right away again? Javon Kears that time. It seems like both teams have been sacked like five times this half. Maybe that's why I'm not comfortable sitting back in the pocket waiting for our guys to cut in and out. From the 21-yard line, stiff arm keeps him at bay. Surprised he didn't fair catch that one. Returns this one to the 30. First and 10. All right, let's see if we can't have another defensive stop. We gotta really get a rhythm on offense next time we get on the field, though. Say that much. Oh my goodness! Another sack for Ty Johnson. That is five sacks in the first half. Unbelievable. Oh, I almost got six. I almost got it. And it's already third and 15. He's a, he's a terror today, man. I, I feel like, well, let's get home once again, huh? What do you say, Ty? What do you say, kid? Not quite that time. Knock it down, Osmo. Holding. Holding. Back him up. Back him up. There's a reason why we couldn't get the sack. It's got to hold him. Oh, they're cowards, man. They're going the goal line set. Have some gall, man. Go for a deep pass. They're just going to run the ball. I'm going to fall time out. I'm going to get this ball back. I'm going to try to score. I'll take that, you know. I'm going to our own 20. Let's see if we can't get this ball around our 40 yard line or so. That would be ideal. Now here's the punt unit as the defense forces a three and out. Yeah, you know, 30, 33 once again. 34 this time. Hey, this is why you run those two minutes. <laughs> Started each of the last two drives in the 33, 32, and now the 34. This isn't the scout team defense. Don't make a play. Watch your eyes. Now go. Dropping back to pass on first down. Gets the pass. Nice. Nice arm strength to fit it in there. Cornerback almost jumped that, but Russell's arm is just a little bit too big. So nice catch and run by Antoine as well. Dangerous throw. You gotta take some risks, though. No, what is that throw, dude? Come on, Jamarcus. That was supposed to be like five more yards to the right. Fortunately, we throw a pick. We can't get anything going in the passing game, it seems today. They stay in their feet, keeping their eyes on them, and then make this type of play. Out of the shotgun. With the pass. It's nice knockdown by Osmo. Probably would have caught it out of bounds, but still give him credit. Props. I'm feeling another sack. Let's get six in the first half, huh? From the shotgun. No, but with the throw. Clark picked it off, dude. Dude, you would have, oh my goodness. How do you drop that ball? How and on earth do you drop that ball? He would have been going the other way. That would have been a pick six for sure. He couldn't throw a more perfect ball for an interception, and he drops the ball. Unbelievable. Come on, we got to go take this hat on the uh, on turnovers, man. Oh, Ty Johnson with another nice hit on the quarterback. Osma with the coverage, forcing a punch. It's been a wild two minutes here at the end of the first half. Maybe I could have let that one go. I don't know. I think I should run this clock out. I, I will be more than glad with a two-score lead at the end of the first half, especially on the road against a pretty good opponent. And that's, of course, I was about to break that off. Wasn't able to, so we just got to run this clock down there. Yeah, going up 14-0. 
Never going to complain when you're two scores on the road against a tough opponent. Which I just said, there's a lot of dead air to fill whenever you're running the clock down in this game. Second half, though, we definitely got to get our passing game a little bit more in rhythm. Keep the defensive pressure up. I mean, we've been unbelievable today. I think Ty Johnson has five sacks. Might have four. But, um... Thomas Howard also has a sack. Why are they calling time out? What are, what are you guys doing? Thomas Howard also has a sack. So. Lots of film study and preparation. When you know what a team likes to call in certain situations, Darren Sproles first carry of the season. It really gives you an edge on defense. I don't think you have a choice. Put the ball. So smart, I guess smart timeout management. I don't know if they're going to be able to get anything going even when they get the ball back. They're going to have a fair catch. Are they even going to have time on the clock? They're not because they didn't fair catch it. And that's just, we're just going to go into the half. Interesting play by the return man. Let's take a quick look at the halftime statistics. Russell having a rough game. Still over 50%, which is honestly astonishing to me. We The constant pressure on Tony Romo has made it basically impossible for him to get into any rhythm. Hopefully we can keep that up in the second half. Uh, you know, there has not been, there's been a lot of passing attempts. we got to get the ball on the ground a little bit more in the second half. Von Cross, of course, you know, had a, a one-yard run, so that's dragging his average down, but he's been pretty good today. Russell, again, you know, as, as he's done all throughout the season, making some good plays with his legs uh, whenever we're rolling out. Higgins, Antoine, and Randall L, all with three Receptions, Higgins has four, but spreading the ball around pretty well today. Michael Bush has the other reception on the team. Kept him around for now. But yeah, Ty Johnson, five sacks in the first half, and then they have six sacks. So six sacks on each team, which is wild if you think about it. That's why the, the clock has been running down so so much, and there hasn't been too many plays. But we got to shore up our, our O-line here in the second half, make some quicker throws. But if Ty Johnson can keep this up, then I don't see any reason why we're not going to be able to win this game. So let's get to it. Start the ball. Start with the ball. They have very mm, minimal yardage. Mm -hmm. 26 yards. Nice return by Higgins here. Down to about 30. Nice. Higgins yeah, has a nice return. Taking it back on the to the 30. First Ball on their own 30. Ball on the 30-yard line. We're talking about Brian. Watch your eyes. All day. They've been solid running. One-on-one on one in the slot, down. it looks like. Yeah, when you gain five yards or more, it sets you up in good sight. Throw this one away. I'm throwing the ball away. I'm hitting the LT trigger. What are you guys, what are you doing? One of the best in the league. Yeah, he's one of those guys. It's frustrating. Let me tell you. Trying to throw the ball away for five seconds there, and he's just not, not doing it. The Raiders line up in a five receiver set this time. Under pressure. On the run. And it's pass interference, man. The 20. What am I doing? What am I doing? Throw the ball away. Trying to play hero ball. Gotta stop throwing the ball so much. Just, just keep the ball on the ground. What are we doing? What are we doing? What am I doing? Setting them up to get back into this game. Is there on the stop. <clears throat> Can't believe I threw that. In almost unnoticed. Can't believe I threw the, the pick. Something weird about that formation. He's like doing a two-step drop, and I'm afraid I'm going to get hit. Oh, I thought that was play action. I would have had, I would have had six. Uh -oh, Michael Huff hurt his back. It's not good. He's a key player for us. Can't have him go down too long. Hopefully, it's just a stinger. Hopefully it's just a stinger. This team has to start converting on third down if they're gonna be successful. Draw, 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 draw. Nice play by Sam Williams in the run game. Four center field goal. Defense bails us out a little bit. So no more turnovers, Jamarcus. If we're gonna pass it, let's do some short stuff. That's what we've been successful with today. And let's keep the ball on the ground. Keep the ball on the ground. I'm telling myself so I don't forget. Keep the ball on the ground. Got to run the ball a lot here in the second half. Just give it to Vaughn Cross. 
He's going to carry you to victory. Let's just do it. This one is taken by Higgins. Breaks tackle. Who's got space on the outside? But coverage caught up a little bit. Still out to the 26. That's a decent return. Decent return for sure. Nice little cut there by Cross. Three in a cloud or so. We're calling it two yards. I think it was three. Maybe I'm just biased. Another nice hole. Good blocking up front. Griffith hitting the second level. Running right behind him. Third and short. Very manageable. Down the distance here. Don't love the play action. I have a feeling I'm going to get sacked if we go play action. Look for Randall L on the outside. Oh, I think that was in his hands. Just couldn't hold on to it. Accidentally went for the snap. I am not doing that. I am punting the ball. They have two left. I don't think you have a choice. Punt the ball. Hit the wrong button. Could have gone for the fake, but we are not going to do that. The way our offense is playing today, I am not confident that we're going to be able to pick up three yards. But what I am confident about is our defense being able to hold them. We're going to... Oh, Tyler Brayton. Special teamer this year. Blast them on the coverage. Let's hope we can pick up right where we left off. Defense has been absolutely smothering today. Let's keep it up. Number not. Clark with a knockdown. Nice play by Eric Clark on the outside. Go five wide, are they? Smart. They don't want to keep Ty Johnson on the field. I get it. Trust me, I get it. They're five wide, but no Jason Witten. Anthony Fasano I mean, as well, I mean, instead. Decent pressure. Sanders, the backup strong safety with a nice knockdown in coverage. One on one out there, able to make the play. Beautiful play, beautiful play by the defense. And forced third and ten. And Sanders with another play. Tackles him, forces the fourth down, forces a punt. Fans are chanting for them to go for it, but I would think they would be foolish with the way our defense has been, you know, locked down today. Let's see if we can get a good punt return here. Uh, you know, about six or seven yards. I'll take it. I'll take it. Could have gone for a fair catch. Probably should have in hindsight, but we didn't. They're in a quarter package, and I don't know why. So we're going to run the ball. We have four guys in the box. We're just going to run the ball. Didn't really work out that time. But that's okay. And they got their personnel out. It's not who they want, I'm assuming. And Antoine Runner right? picks up a first down. It's our safety net out there, man. Love throwing the ball at him. So I'm pretty confident he's going to catch it when I throw it to him. Diggins, short little crossing. You know, four and a half, five yards. Got to do a little bit more of that here in the second half. Throw the ball. And again, I mean, they got four guys in the box. And they have a safety coming down. I think he's going to sink, though. No, he's blitzing. He gets knocked down, though. Oh, no. Going cross. Even with his 99 carrying, fumbles it again. Because why not? Because Madden ratings don't make any sense. Put the ball on the ground, unfortunately. And they have a shot to get right back in this game. <sighs> Hate fumbles, man. Team's got a serious case of the fumbleitis this year. Don't know where it's stemming from, but it's happening. And I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Quite annoying indeed. Only one man in the backfield. Where the counterplay. 
Maybe the first time today. He saw the marker as he got to the outside, and he just turned it up and got past it. Nickelback in this time. Nice tackle by Ty Johnson. Chugged that one up. TFL, maybe, maybe not. But a beautiful tackle. I was shooting for the quarterback there, but he handed the ball off to the fullback. We just were able to take him out. Good pressure once again, but Reese is able to get behind Clark on the outside. Pick up a big first down. Here, close to punching it in here. See if we can't hold him to another field goal. That would be beautiful. The last time they were down here, they settled for a field goal. Counter, counter, counter. Ty John's too quick off the backside. Eight tackles today. Holy cow. Let's pick up another sack. Well, they might run the ball once again. I don't know. They are indeed. Somebody get there. Somebody get there. Schweiger. They're not going to give it to him. Luckily, luckily. They will stop him at the half yard line. Half inch line. Holy cow. Look at how close that is. That is about as close as you can get to being a touchdown without being a touchdown. Oh, come on. Brayton, you were so close to shedding your block and tackling him there. So close. Why are they not going for two? I don't know. I think the correct play is to go for two here, but I guess I'm not going to complain. A little unfortunate we couldn't stop him there, but again, turnovers, man. Turnovers will kill you. Every day of the week. Can't win if you're going to turn the ball over. Nice blocking on the outside. Flags are down and this one Never mind, there's a hold, so we're going to be backed up inside our own 20 to start this drive. The team has to show discipline right. and execute hold on to the ball now, guys. Hold on to the ball. That's all I'm asking. All I'm asking. I'd love to hit the hole between the left guard and left tackle there, but unfortunately I kind of got sucked into that guy. All right, all right. Enough of this mucking around. Stump it off in the flat. Oh, Brace the tackle out to about the 30 yard line. Once again, dude's a beast, man. He is a beast. Yeah, especially in situations where they're looking to get first down yardage. Hey, watch the ball. Using split back. Throws it. Oh, Antoine, I thought he was going to haul that one in. Not the right throw. Nice sight. Luckily, we did not get burned. Quite fortunate. Quite fortunate indeed. Mm, only about a yard on the run. Set up a third and long to start the fourth quarter, so. Offense has really got to get something going here in the quarter, man. I'm not going to. I have a feeling we're not going to. What? No. Why on earth would I do that? That would be the stupidest play call like of all time. No way are we doing that. We want a couple of crosses over the middle, hitting first down here, hitting first down marker. But yeah, I have a feeling we're not going to be able to win this game if we stay at 14. Dropping back. Higgins is open deep. Nice recovery by number 41. Is that Roy Williams? He could have thrown that one a little deeper. I think Higgins would have got in behind and he would have been able to sprint into the end zone. Fortunately, that's not how it happened. So we're forced to punt the ball away. Oh, man. Get close to blocks. I should start calling regular punt block protection. I like going for the max coverage. <laughs> Because they're just running out of it's time. always a little risky. Probably shouldn't because our, our coverage unit is good enough to get down there even without the max coverage. Either way, it didn't burn us. They're in oh, their own 16-yard line. Oh, fumble, fumble, fumble. Pick up the ball, pick up the ball. How, how, how? 
How do we not make that ball? Six guys that right on top of it. Somebody fall on the freaking ball. Come on. That was the third fumble of the game that we weren't able to fall on, even though we probably could have gotten it. Nice tackle by Asimov. And they get a hold. Yeah, let's back them up. If they weren't so far deep in their own zone, I probably would have declined it. But I want to I want to keep pushing them back inside, you know, inside their own red zone. Force them to throw the ball, pick up some yards, get some pass rush. I haven't been getting home in the second half, but... Oh, almost did that time. Clark, Clark, Clark. Nice <laughs> display by Eric Clark. Yeah, I thought he was going to get that for a second. Not even going to lie. But a nice play, nonetheless. Blitz with Sammy Walls off the edge. Yeah. Call an audible. Oh, and he's able to not quite bring him down. But the pressure is able to disrupt him. And Derek Burgess comes in to clean up the mess with a nice sack. Seventh of the game or eighth of the game? Not quite sure. So I think that's I think that's our first of the first of the second half. I don't know. Nice knockdown. Nice knockdown. I think it was the right decision, you know, to accept that penalty. Forced them to kind of reevaluate. Going to be set up with a really good field position here. From the 40. Out to inside, inside their territory. 48. Right, let's keep the ball on the ground here now. Huh? What do you say? What do you say? Mm. The rush defense has been a lot better here in the second half. Just pick up some easy yards now, guys. Five guys in the box. I'll take those odds every time. Maybe I shouldn't because a rush defense on that play. Very good. Very, very good. Right. Looking for Porter out of the slot on the right side. Dallas comes out in their nickel package. Drops back under pressure. I didn't see anybody open. Way too many sacks we've given up today. It's been a battle of attrition. Nobody's been able to get any type of rhythm on offense. And that's okay. So our defense can keep it up. And I guess maybe we can win with 14 points. I would really love it if we could, you know, score another touchdown here, put the game out of reach. Even a field goal, you know. Something. Nice tackle by Howard. Almost got to him in the backfield, but still. Only three yards. They're still inside their own 15. Let's get home, guys. Get home. Got him again. Yes, sir. Ty Johnson. Six sacks on the day. He's one away from tying an NFL record. Set by Derek Johnson and the Chiefs. That sounds right. Hopefully, if we get it, which he almost did. I went for the big hit. I should have gone first for the tackle. I could have had him in the backfield, man. Oh, I could have had him in the backfield. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Nice play by Romo under pressure. Got to give props to him, too. Oh, I should have had the sack. I got greedy. Not that time. TFL, Ty Johnson. It's just unbelievable today. Six sacks, like three TFLs. It, like, when the MVP has games like this, well, that's the season. Defensive player of the week, for sure. Oh, my goodness. What a grab by Jabbar Gaffney. I think that was tipped off his hands. Not quite sure. Come on, defense. You've been playing unbelievable all day. Offense has been playing like hot garbage here in the second half. I guess we got to rely on you guys. Just a punishing run by the fullback. That's what he can do to you. You can't bring this guy down. You can only hold for so long. Get him from all sides. Then just take him to the ground. Let's go! Let's go! 
They'll go from the shotgun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Derek Burgess with a sack. Ninth sack of the game. Defense is playing out of their minds today. Turf must be real fast or something here in Dallas. <laughs> and Kirk Morrison with another knockdown. They're forced to punt the ball away. We could put the put the game away with this drive. Got to pick up a couple first downs. Let's see if we can do it. Touchback. Alright, cool, calm, and collected. More, more so than anything, I would love to go down and score here. If we can take up all three and a half minutes, hey, that'd be great. Oh, beautiful hole, Michael Bennett. Another big run, he's had a couple of those this year. Russell struggling, you know. Nice run pick up here and there. The big boon to our uh, odds of victory here. Justin Griffiths. Nice way to haul it in. Way to haul it in, man. Hall's been protecting a lot better here in the second half. I don't know if I'm taking a sack. Maybe one. One or two. See if we can break this one to the outside. Nice block by uh, Kane, I think. Good, good spin back by Bennett. It's going to take us to the two-minute warning here. So, we've got all three timeouts still. So, if we can get like four or five yards here and pick up another first down on the next play or two, could put this one away. And Michael Bennett is running like a beast today. See if our big time running back, Ron Cross, can pick up this first time. Put this game on ice. Not quite there was a hole. I couldn't quite hit it. Third and two. Big, big play in this game. Big time play in this game. It'll be super risky. Send Higgins on a quick out. I'm an idiot. I should have just ran the ball. They're not going to call a timeout. They're saving one for their... Offensive driver to run this all the way down to, Sets up to run back minute to 10 on the clock. Run it down a little bit more. We should be able to pin them pretty deep. And then they're going to have to score on, on the defense. You know, and our defense has been playing otherworldly today. Really, the only touchdown was because of a turnover. So, calls a they have one no reason to call max coverage. Just call a regular one. Let's pin them deep. Pin our ears back. Again for the eighth time. Put this game on ice defense. Need you guys to step up one more time. From the -yard line. Nice tackle. Nice tackle. We got to be throwing the ball. We're going to be coming out nickel or dime. Probably nickel. We got to keep Ty Johnson on the field. The way he's been playing today, we can't pull him off. He's got him. There's the record tying sack. Ty Johnson, seven on the day. Ten on the day for the team. He's had no time in the back field. And Jason Witten, of course. Come on, somebody else besides Ty Johnson's got to step up and make a play. That's not going to be Eric Clark on the outside, is it? Come on, somebody make a play. It's all I need. We cannot let them get in. To him, get to him. Schweiger, knock it down, please. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Stuart Schweiger. Oh, thank you, Stuart Schweiger. That was almost a touchdown. I do not think Eric Clark would have been able to knock that ball down. Oh, Stuart Schweiger saves it for us. 
Sam Perry with a nice knockdown. Big play here, third and ten. Obviously four down territory. See if Ty Johnson can ice his game with the record-breaking sack. Not quite, but another nice knockdown by our linebackers in the second level. Kirk Morrison's been a beast in pass coverage today. He's had a few games like that. In the first game of the season, we had three picks, and then today, he also had some very nice knockdowns. Get there. Get there. We'll take that for sure. And they fumbled the ball. Kirk Morrison picks it up. And that turnover is going to seal seal the deal. Whew, so somehow, you know, despite our offense plan, like just, you know, I, I don't even know. It's a lot of superlatives I can use. But. Suffice to say, they played very poorly today. Our defense was able to have the game of their lives. Ty Johnson, particularly. Seven sacks, tying the NFL record, and unlike... Derek Johnson, we were able to pick up the victory in the game. So, had some stuff going. Yeah, I don't know Al finish it off. So we were able to do some stuff in the first half, but the second half, just bupkis for both teams. I mean, both teams finished under 200 yards offense on the day. <laughs> not what you want to see. Russell did not have a great game. I mean, we were getting sacked all day, so it was Tony Romo, to be fair. We finished 13 for 30. We finished 15 for 29. Vaughn Cross, probably the best player on offense today for us, although he did have a fumble. I don't know. Tough to say. They did not have a great time running the ball either. Again, our defense was just unbelievably good today. You know, both both quarterbacks spread the ball around for how how much pressure they were under. It was kind of impressive, in all honesty. Look at the statistics. Don't want to take a look at this. I want to see this, though. <laughs> Ty Johnson. 11 tackles, 3 of them for loss, and 7 sacks. I mean, what more can you say? That's... Uh, Maybe the best game a defensive end has ever played, or a linebacker in this case, a rush linebacker. I, I didn't watch Derrick Johnson, so I can't really compare. But, I mean, this has got to be, you know, top top 20 all time for sure. I mean, seven sacks, I, I don't know what else you can say. On the other hand, Javon Kears, DeMarcus Ware, both had three sacks. Anthony Spencer had two sacks. I mean, let's count them up. We had seven, nine... 10 sacks, they had 3, 6, 8, 9 sacks. So a total of 19 sacks. Uh, ugly game all around. <laughs> and we threw two picks. We should have had a pick. Uh, I can't remember who it was. I think it was Eric Clark in the first half where the ball literally put up for a platter on him, on his hands, but he couldn't, couldn't haul it in. Three forced fumbles though by us. I like that. I'd love to, uh, you know, get a turnover. I know we had one at the end of the game, but I mean, fourth down anyway, so doesn't really matter too much. Anyways, you know, had to rely on our offense for some wins here in uh, games past. This time we had to rely on our defense, and they pulled it out in the end. So, simulate the rest of the week, and next time up, we play the Ravens, and it should be a good game. Ravens 4-3, and three, second place in the AFC North, so Oh man, Saints in Washington. That's a, that's a heck of a game. Go see that one. Six and one versus six and one. This late in the season, not going to find too many matchups like that. This late in the season. Anywho, uh, yeah, I mean, best defensive game I think we've played. We've had some shutouts, but given the their scores with their really good field position, I think you know this is probably the best defensive game we've played in our past three years. So, if you guys enjoyed that one, hopefully we can come out next next week and find ourselves in offensive rhythm I hate to have to have a repeat performance like that in order to you know stay in the game uh, until then guys you know if you enjoyed this one feel free to leave a like comment or subscription until then we'll see you all in the next video see ya